Well, hello everybody. Greg coming here from Good News for Israel. And we're taking five to Salah. So grab up your Bible or your cup of coffee. Let's sit down and just enjoy the Lord for a bit, and uh, which we should do every single day. Well, today we're, uh, we're going to... We've, we've brought this, uh, this um, study of Bethel to a, 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 an end. Um, it, you know, it's, it, it's been a fairly thorough study of Bethel. Uh, and if you haven't already traveled along with our posts or our Facebook or... Um, you know these videos please go go back and have a look at them our website of course has all of the posts um, and for uh, serious Bible students you, you'll gain a foundational understanding of God's plan for mankind and his covenants uh, if you do that and for those running Bible college courses or um, you're free to use the material and the videos as much as you like you'll find uh, all of these videos on our YouTube channel or the posts on our website as I said so the scripture today is we're actually moving on uh, from Genesis chapter 12, verse 8, after a phenomenal number of um, lessons on that, uh, just from one verse. And so we're looking at uh, verse 9, which says, So Abram journeyed, going on still toward the south. So let's pick up uh, this here. The last thing we read, of course, Abram doing in Bethel before he left was to build an altar and call on the name of the Lord. And then out of the blue, it seems, he unpegs his tents and travels towards the south. The Hebrew is Hanegba or Negev. And uh, the Negev is this large desert region in southern Israel uh, where the main city is Beersheba. Let me see if I can get a picture of that up for you. Uh, so that you can see that. There we go. The Negev. That's a picture of it. I've travelled through it, and it's a foreboding place. It's a, it's a, a very vast wasteland. It's um, quite an amazing place to be. So uh, why did Abram head out from the beautiful mountainous area of Bethel towards this region uh, and into a desert? Well, there are some hints, and perhaps the area of Bethel had been grazed enough, or rain hadn't fallen for a while. The, the, the clue the Bible gives is that there was a famine beginning in the land, in Genesis chapter 12 and verse 10, the next verse. <clears throat> but for whatever reason, Abram and Lot decided one day to unpeg their tents and head south into this region, the Negev. So personally, I think that the Lord was leading Abram by means of an impending famine to travel throughout the land, that he had promised to him and his descendants. Um, so he was, he wanted, uh, God wanted Abram to see it and to feel it and to know it and walk across it. So <laughs> you, you look at that picture, Abram would have had to have pitched his tent city in some very remote and desolate places besides streams, uh, in deep wadis or valleys, uh, sandy dunes, you can see lots of those near wells uh, on the edges of the cliff. He got to see all the land uh, with he and his family traveling along pegging and unpegging their tents and of course with the benefit of hindsight we know that abram would one day come back to the negev and live both in hebron and in beersheba uh, and it was on this journey south into the negev that he most likely saw these uh these places so Here's a question for you. Have you ever experienced a drying up of your resources at critical points in your life, which has actually been a catalyst for a change? A change of jobs or a change of view, or like Abram, even a change of location. Because certainly what seemed to happen here with Abram was a drying up of resources, which forced him to head south uh, and into this region, which was still part of the land that God had promised to Abram. Well, that's uh, that's it for today on uh, uh, Take 5 and Salah. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you're walking the journey along with us and getting a much deeper and greater understanding of the Word of God and so bolstering and lifting your faith. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, you click on that little uh, olive leaf there and the next video will be coming out soon. So the Lord richly bless you. I pray that you have a great day. And it's from me. Bye for now.